both CFM and MPH ratings of a leaf blower are important and should be considered when buying a leaf blower. Leaf blowers with a higher CFM can make the task of blowing leaves easier. On the other hand, the MPH rating of a leaf blower represents the speed at which air comes out of the nozzle. In this video, we are going to explain the main differences between these two ratings and which one you should focus on more based on your needs. So, let's start the video. In the leaf blower MPH vs CFM conversation, miles per hour represent the measurement of airspeed. That seems fairly easy to understand. After all, we're used to seeing MPH speeds in cars, wind speeds, and other areas. At its core, MPH tells you how many miles you get when traveling for one hour at a constant rate. A blower that produces 200 MPH wind speed would push a burst of air 200 miles away in an hour. That burst could maintain its speed. Simple enough. Blower CFM, or cubic feet per minute, measures the volume of air leaving the blower. In this case, the impeller creates a vacuum effect, pulling air through itself and pushing it out the other end. The angle, length, and speed of rotation of the blades determine how much air moves through and determines both the speed and volume of air moving. Consider a backpack blower that claims to get 1000 CFM, and let's assume you actually get it for the sake of the example. That 1000 CFM means that the blower moves enough to fill a cube that's 10 feet high, 10 feet wide, and 10 feet long in one minute. Airspeed is important because it takes more of it to move heavier objects. Dry grass is one thing, pebbles, mulch, and wet leaves are another. Air volume is important because you need more to move debris in a larger area. But is blower MPH or CFM more important? Take a straw 100 MPH. You will make an impressive mess with your glass of milk or make a pretty effective blow dart gun. But you'll accomplish very little in your yard. You're in a low CFM situation, and the airspeed can only affect a small area. On the other side of the MPH vs CFM coin, let's say that you can produce 20,000 CFM, but only get 15 MPH out of it. You get a nice breeze for a hot day. You and four of your closest friends can stay cool, but you're only going to be moving the lightest sawdust. The low airspeed means you're not moving much weight around. Here's the cool thing. More brands are beginning to include Newton Force in their specifications right alongside blower and pH and CFM numbers. That makes it much easier for you to compare which leaf blower is the best one for your needs. Now that you have a better understanding of all three parameters, those numbers on the box might mean a little more when you shop and compare products. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.